Hey guys, so today is the day that we're gonna check out Hell's Kitchen. We're back in Vegas again. We just made it to Hell's Kitchen. The reservation is at four o'clock. Let's talk about my Hell's Kitchen experience. The restaurant is on the strip adjacent to Caesar's Palace. If you want to dine in at Hell's Kitchen, you will need to make a reservation at least two to three months in advance. The menu is very pricey, so you want to budget about $100 per person, that's with no liquor, or about $150 per person if you're going to have a few drinks. We spent close to $300 and it was the three of us. We ordered two appetizers, three entrees, two side dishes, and two desserts. Overall, we had a great experience and the service was fantastic. We were seated next to the window so the lighting was just perfect. In terms of the food, nothing is prepared well done. The food is beautifully plated and the portions are very small so don't expect any leftovers. The most amazing item on the menu is a sticky toffee pudding. We actually went back two days later to get some more. If you don't have the time or the patience to wait two to three months for a reservation, you can actually pop in and dine at the bar, or you can take your food to go. I absolutely recommend trying out the sticky toffee pudding if you're ever in Vegas. That is a must. So that's my experience. The cake is so moist. I'm not really sure what it is saturated in. It looks like a a caramel sauce but it's not thick it's like a watery sweet caramelized sauce definitely they could probably give you a little a little a little more ice cream but the cake in itself is just so moist it's just so beautiful mm. guys if you're ever in Vegas you should check out Hell's Kitchen if you don't need a reservation, you could just wait for an open seat at the bar and you can order your food or you could try out this dessert. Mm-hmm.